Yeah. He's been closing the gap all day because we've run into less breeze and he's brought it with him, so not yeah. good. And he's sort of been hunting you down for the last 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's good at that, huh? He's got a quick boat in these conditions, you know, this sort of light air, downwind sailing, that thing is fast. Different phases where we were better, we were not so good. So, but we've been able to keep fighting all the way and we are here first. So what, are the, what were the highlights of this voyage for you? We spent one day uh, uh, off the Portuguese coast with the A3 up doing 23, 24 knots and that was spectacular. Uh, probably that. It's, we are learning, uh, <laughs> so we're still learning. I, I don't think we have very memorable moments. Uh, we are learning a lot about the boat, we are learning about uh, the sails, we are learning, I'm learning about everything. And what was the hardest moment? Well, the hardest moment has been the last the last th three or four days, however long it's taken us to come up the Mediterranean. Like I always say, the, uh, the light air is by far the worst, you know, so. Little things that make your life difficult every day. What have I missed most about all this? Uh, I miss my wife for sure. That's the first step every time. My little one, my Pepe. Your Pepe. Pepe yeah, will be here. Pepe Junior will be here. First thing you're gonna do when you get ashore? I don't know. I I need to clean myself a little bit. Probably it's been 15 days or however long now with no uh, no bathing. So that's a first step. And then uh, I'm gonna eat and drink. I think like like normal. My my family is here. My my family from Alicante came up. My my dad, my mom and Sandra's family is here, so yeah, it's always special to finish in the city that you, like, that you live.